try to take a moment to try to demystify having oysters on the half shell. When you're opening up oysters, it's very important to understand how the oyster is made. You have a top side shell and a bottom shell. You can see from the bottom that it's a cup shape, which is holding all the oyster meat. The top shell is flat. And then the most important part is the hinge. This is the hinge right here, and that's how we're going to open it with this oyster knife. Okay? I like to open them on a towel. It's for two reasons. One, it keeps it nice and flat, so it's going to save the natural liquor of the oyster. And also, it's going to protect your hand from your knife slipping and giving you a strike. So, the oyster is on flat, the cup side is down, the oyster goes over, your knife will go in as far as it can go. You can see that's the natural angle. Common mistake would be to open it this way and the knife could slip and the possibility of hurting your hand. So look at how the knife goes in, about 10, 15 pounds of pressure and then turn it away from you. You don't want to go into the oyster, you just want to pop the hinge, just like that. And then we're going to open it with a, like, a, like opening up a paint can and then we're going to scrape the top of the shell to release that muscle from the shell. Perfectly opened up oyster, and there's the muscle we're talking about. And it's going to be important to release that muscle from the bottom shell. So now it's completely ready to eat or top with your favorite condiment. Uh, it's a fresh, fresh item, fresh from the sea. Um, 